Uh, this is Joyce Asak, uh, Chair of the Facilities Usage and Planning Subcommittee. I would like to call uh, the meeting to order. The time is now 5.02 p.m. And I would like to take a roll call. Uh, Tim Sullivan. Here. Uh, Chair Mike, Mark Diagostino. Here. Vice Chair, I apologize. No problem. I've been called worse. I can barely hear you though, Mark. I'm sorry. Oh, hang on. It could be me. No, no, no. I've had some trouble with my volume. Give me one minute. <clears throat> I'd also like to recognize that um, Judy Sullivan is also present during the meeting. And uh, Superintendent Mike Thomas and Dr. Cobbs. So I'm gonna just, uh, do I need to read the, uh, the COVID? Yes. Okay, so I'm gonna just uh, read this. Due um. to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and state of emergency on March 12, 2020, Governor Baker issued an executive order temporarily suspending certain provisions of the open meeting law. General Law Chapter 30A, Section 20, pursuant to the order, public bodies are temporarily relieved from the open meeting laws requirement that meetings be held in public places, open and physically accessible to the public, so long as measures are taken to ensure public access to the body's deliberations through adequate alternative means. Joyce, are you okay. able to hear me now? Yes, perfect, much better. Okay, so um, first thing on our agenda, we have the discussion of the Eldon B. Keith Field so we just wanted to um, just give you a brief update. Let's see what we have here. So my notes here. So my understanding Wait, is that last I... night's city council meeting, the city council discussed and tabled to its uh, next meeting, a proposal to designate Keith Field or some portion of it as surplus and available for disposition. Um, we're currently working with council for the schools, the city's law department and the city council's attorney to vet this issue further. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, let me know. Right now, the discussion is ongoing and we expect to have more information at probably our next meeting in a couple of weeks. But right now, everything's just early stages. We're, we're trying to gather as much information as that, that we can to bring it before the committee. Anyone have any questions? Sorry, Mr. Yes, Sullivan, sir. I couldn't hear you. One question. What, sure. what is this all about? Is this to do with the Boys and Girls Club? Uh, what right, is now about? They, they're, right now, we're, we're discussing a, a portion of, of uh, Keith Field, and the attorneys are working on it. So nothing has been given to anyone right now. There's, it, it needs to go out. OK. Okay. Just Mr. Sullivan, if you have any... I'm sorry? Just one clarification. I just came from Mike before you started. On the bottom, it's, it says it will be on Comcast Channel 12. It's going to be on Channel 90 today. Oh, right. Okay. If anyone has any questions, I can bring them before um, our council. I know um, the school's attorney and the city's attorneys are working on this to try to get us more information in the future. Uh, within the next couple of weeks, we should have more info to go before the committee. Right now, everything's early stages. Yeah, Joyce, if you don't mind if I jump in. Sure, absolutely. Okay. Yeah, so basically, um, you know, I, the, I, I asked Joyce to, to, to have a facilities meeting um, just so that we could loop the committee in on, on, on this, um, you know, uh, on this topic. Um, you know, I've been kind of, you know, the, the attorneys have been kind of talking about this and working on this for some time. I was looped in about a week and a half or so ago, maybe two weeks now. Um, and, and so I just thought it was time to, uh, you know, at least let the facility subcommittee know, um, you know, kind of that this was out there and, and being discussed. So, um, you know, obviously Joyce being the facilities chair reached out to her, uh, you know, so that we could just have a quick chat and, 
um, kind of, you know, as a facility subcommittee have just a high level, here's the overview and there's details coming, you know, um, Joyce and I have had several calls with Peter Mello, uh, the uh, school attorney. And uh, so he's keeping us in the loop as, you know, new information is available and, and you know, as, uh, as it unfolds and, you know, we'll, um, you know, Joyce via the facility subcommittee and, and, and ultimately eventually the full committee will, you know, kind of keep everybody in the loop. So um, that's all, we just wanted to have this kind of high level, this is out there, this is coming and, and we're, we're, you know, everybody's still vetting it out. So that is all. No, definitely. Now I was just going to echo exactly um, pretty much that we just wanted to make sure we brought it before our committee as um, you know, the city council just met on it last night. So we just wanted to make sure that, you know, members of the school committee knew what was going on. Um, you know, especially within the next couple of weeks as things are going to come together and we have more information, we'll be able to, um, you know, meet on it and um, it'll be able to, maybe we can invite um, attorney Peter Mello to come to one of our meetings and maybe once once they have more information to come before us and, and do a presentation as to see what's expected. They're just trying to, you know, polish a few things here and there trying to um, get through some of the info. So at least the council's attorney and our attorneys are working together. So, um, and that that's, that's important. We're just trying to make sure we don't jump ahead of ourselves, but we just wanted the facilities subcommittee to at least meet, know what's going on, and let our let our other school committee members know um, of last night's meeting. So, if anyone has any questions, I mean, feel free. You can reach out to me. I can, you know, forward them to Attorney Mello, and we can, um, you know, have those questions pretty much if we can get them answered for you by our next meeting. That would be great. Um, I know that the city council had tabled this for a couple of weeks. So um, I'm sure within the next you know, couple of weeks, we'll have more info. Okay. Um, anyone have any questions? If we can just, uh, Melinda, for the record, uh, we, Tony Rodriguez is also present. Um, even though the three sub, uh, subcommittee members are present, I'd like to just make note that who's present at our meeting, that we have Ms. Sullivan and um, Mr. Rodriguez. Will do. Thank you. Um, is that it, everybody? Any any questions? Um, Joyce, I had one, if I could. Is what is going on? I, I'm not sure. What well, we just don't want to jump it. ahead of ourselves and in, in, um, speculate. So it's best that we just leave it for the attorneys right now. Um, if you have any specific questions, I mean, they're just trying to figure things out. Um, uh, it, it, you know, it was a piece of land that was deeded to um, the city and um, school department was given management over this piece. So they're just, I think it's better if we leave it up to the attorneys, let them figure it out, get back to us, um, rather than speculate and cause confusion. Um, I think it's better if we just wait for our attorney to give us direction and um, as, as he's working with the city's attorney. Okay. But if you have any specific questions, you know, I'd, I'd be more than happy to get them over to the attorney for you, Tim. No, no problem. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. We just, there's really nothing going on. We just have to follow proper protocol and make sure things are done properly. Um, just make sure we follow the, the proper channels. Okay. Okay. Anyone else have any questions or? Okay. Um, I believe that's all that we had on our agenda. Um, if anyone has anything that they would like to, um, I have something under, um, other business. Sure. I was just going to say that. Perfect. Thank you. Um, so we have, um, the God at school, um, the mayor and I, um, looked at that as a possible couple possible things. So um, right now, as you know, it has not been used, but we, it has been maintained um, by us, the um, school department. It's still um, basically in our possession. Um, so we do take care of it. We keep the heat on. Uh, we watch over it. There has been, it's used for some storage. It's also used, uh, police and fire use it for training. Um, and so we are now currently looking at that location for right now, the first floor only. 
because that's the only flow that has um, handicap accessibility um, to be able to do some just in-house work, um, carpet, some paint, some new lighting um, as a, a possible location for our future Promise School, um, but also um, just as important, um, looking at it for um, a space for the community center that is currently at North. Um, and as you know, as you all well know, we, as we re, uh, keeping North open and adding uh, grades back in as the uh, next two years go by, uh, it's important for us to continue with the community center and, and find a location for them. So we're gonna be doing some um, remodeling. Again, it's paint, it's um, carpet and some lighting and it would that would serve a, as a location for two uh, for the Promise School, which Kelly, Dr. Silver is working on with the Ba Foundation, um, and then also would, would house um, the community center, obviously, when we're allowed to come back and do things in person. So I just wanted to give the committee an update on that. Thank you. So would that give them like a, a somewhat of a permanent place rather yeah, than would... where North was kind of like a temporary um yeah, we could make that like the community center so they know they have they have a place of their own right now they're not going to be moved from one location to another yeah and, and in the discussions with the mayor um again we can do cosmetic work to get it ready to open for the first floor because again it does um allow to use the first floor for handicap accessibility it does have a ramp but um then the mayor would work um with the city council to uh, maybe bond some money for uh, the following year to uh, and do some more extensive work to it, which would need obviously uh, an elevator um, to be able to use the basement in the second floor, um, which is currently will only be used for storage, um, but we can't allow accessibility to it um, for either the community center or the, or the promise school until there is an elevator there. So um, the mayor would have those discussions going um, further um, so we could eventually use the whole building. But right now it would just be the first floor only. Mr. Sullivan? Yes, I had two questions, Mr. Superintendent. Yes. When, is that work going to be done in-house? Yes, so it the would carpentry. be, yeah, the carpentry, the plumbing, if there's any plumbing to be done, the, the electrical work, it would all be done by our own craftsmen, yes. And, and the other one is... Uh, what is the Promise School? Is that so? Um, Kelly Silva's presented us a couple times about we have a grant from the Ba Foundation, a planning grant. Um, so we planning a, a Promise School, which is um, basically I don't want to call it an alternative school. It's just a different. Um, it's a it's a program for you know high school students that would and and it could it could go from eighth grade up actually eight from eighth to 12th grade for students where a traditional uh, setting like Brockton High School doesn't work for them. It'd just be another avenue to a high school diploma. Um, it would be a different um, way that students would um, go through uh, their high school years rather than a traditional um, program. Uh, just another opportunity to, um, to educate our students, provide them with a different avenue to graduation, which again, the traditional school doesn't work for all kids so uh, it would help reduce dropouts uh, and just provide another avenue for our kids and it's been the planning grant uh, for the last um, this year last year and this year has picked up the salary for Dr. Silva and also has paid for planning that her and her team are doing um, and it's continues to do that this year and then by the end of this year we'll know if the Ba Foundation um, is going to move forward with funding us um, and that would be over a five-year period if they agree to fund us for um, this this school. Sounds like a great idea. Yeah and I can have Dr. Silva come to an upcoming meeting to fill you in on the progress. It, just one final question how many well, kids are you talking about in that school? They would start um, it would start with probably a uh, hundred students and then grow wow. to grow to about 300. Perfect. Yeah. What is the capacity nice idea. of that building? That building probably has the capacity, I would say, probably between 350 and 400. When it's fully, again, that's with an elevator and the upstairs classrooms. Are, um, it's, it's, it's 
when you go in there, it's a lot bigger than it looks from the outside. No, I remember we toured the Goddard building. Um, it even like the lower level, it, it, you're right. It is a lot larger than you really expect it to be from until you go inside. Um, so they do have a lot of classrooms and I apologize if I missed it, but when is the projected um, completion, start time well, to completion? For the first, the, um, the craftsmen are finishing up some work at North, um, the, 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 the renovations to North uh, that we were doing in house. Uh, they should be done with those next week. And then the following week, they'll move over to the guarded again, first floor only. So just carpet, paint, lighting. Um, they probably be done with that by the first week of January. Great. No, that's good to know. Um, and obviously we work in conjunction with the building department and the fire department for any reoccupancy you know, re of the, of the, um, of the guarded. Nice Thank idea. You. Any other questions? No. Any other any other um any any new business we want to um bring to the table for another meeting um other than inviting um our attorney Peter Mello um if someone else has anything to add to our next meeting. I um Joyce, it might be helpful for us to um the mayor has brought up about the purchasing of our own buses again. Um, so I think that, you know, obviously this being safety and transportation, safety, security and transportation, I think maybe that we can have um, the mayor, Aldo and Troy um, come to the next meeting and just give an update. I know the mayor has asked them to look in uh, to bring in this back up again. As you know, we, we were in the process of, of approving the, the purchase of six, I think six vehicles, uh, three large buses and three mini buses. Um, and we had voted favorably to send it to, um, or you voted favorably to send it to the city council, who obviously has to be um, the purchasing agent for the buses to, pro to start bringing our buses in house. Um, obviously that after, shortly after our vote, COVID hit and that you know, put a wrench into that um, that plan, but it's something that, and I know the committee's interested in, the mayor's interested in to continue that uh, buying our own buses. So I think uh, he has brought that up again uh, to get ready for the next fiscal year's budget. So I think we should have Aldo, Troy, and the mayor come and, and, and talk about that. Mike, that would be under uh, transportation and security though. Oh, I'm sorry. This but is facility. That, that's I'm all right. Um, but Mr. Sullivan, we have the chair of that. Sorry, I'm losing it. So I'm sure Mr. Sullivan would be more than happy to get a uh, transportation security subcommittee scheduled so that we can have the mayor and, and company uh, come and uh, get the ball rolling on that again. I know that was uh, something we were all uh, very interested in. Yes, Mike, anytime you want. All right, I'll tell Melinda schedule it, you, Sully. Thank you, um, Mr. DiAugustino, <laughs> for pointing me to the to the right meeting. I've been, no in, I've been in front of this computer all day at a... Uh, at about 12 back to back meetings. So I kind of oh. get them all mixed up at once. I'm, I I'm sure your brain is, is mush by now. <laughs> it's okay. Um, if we could probably do this all in like one night, uh, do the uh, facilities and then if yeah. Mr. Um, Sullivan, if we can have the um, safety traffic, we'll do a have that in the same night as well. Just do a few of them in one night. Um, Any. Thing else that we need to um, eventually we're going to need an update on our buildings as far as where we are superintendent um, you know hopefully Actually, we'll be we able can, to get our um, students back in in class so where yep. we are as far as bringing in the, the the new furniture in setting up our schools um, to be ready when the time comes yep okay yep absolutely okay um, anything else or Nothing new. Okay. Um, motion to adjourn. I was gonna say motion to adjourn. <laughs> Second. Okay. So Mr. Diagostino made the motion. Mr. Sullivan seconded. Um, and I believe I'll do a roll call out of the meeting. Yes. Um, Mr. Sullivan. Yes. Mr. Diagostino. Yes. And I'm a yes. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. All Thank right. You.